Okay, here we are in the home stretch of making this logo open. Uh, we are in video seven, and I think there's only one more after this. In this video, we're going to go ahead and add the content for this shield and maybe add a little bit of uh, extra lighting decoration around the edge. And so we'll get to start with, uh, let's, you know, look at the reference, which was, you know, our original one here. We have this Epic Games emblem, uh, the two words, motion design, and then uh, this little bit of lighting around the edge edge of the shield. That's that's what we're going to get taken care of in this video. So I'll start with the Epic logo because it's nearby in this Virtual Studio Kit. So I'll go to the Virtual Studio Kit folder into Meshes and I think that Epic logo is under Paragon. And yep, there it is. So we can just drag that out here and uh, I'll drop it in here. And as per custom, we'll just do location zero, tab zero, tab zero, and bring that forward so that we can see it. Maybe lower it and R to uh, scale that up. And so now that is fine. Uh, I just would like to boost the brightness of the uh, lettering here. So we'll go out to our materials and glow and pick a brighter glow here for that. Uh, either that one or this one. Yeah, I like that previous one. So there we go. So that takes care of that. It's in position and let's take care of the text next. Uh, for that, we've got our motion design uh, mode fully activated and we're on the actors page and sure enough, we have a text actor. So just click on that and click and drop that into place. Uh, again, I'll go to my location here and set this to zero, 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 which is the center of the shield. Of course, that was just the uh, this actor that was still selected. So even though I dropped the text into place, uh, the text actor wasn't selected. So let's just select that and go to zero, zero, zero. And let's bring this out a little bit. I uh, can't quite see it. So we'll scale that up in all directions. There we go. Uh, we'll want to double check our rotations as well. So let's make those zero. And it looks like we'll need to rotate this by 90 degrees. There we go. Um, of course, not happy with any of this. Uh, we have here in the properties, we've got alignment controls. So I'm going to go ahead and center that on the pivot point uh, horizontally and set the pivot point to the uh, base of the text. I'm not happy with this font. And this is one of the uh, the new features that we have in uh, Unreal 5.4 Motion Design. In the past versions of Unreal, we would have to manually import fonts into the project to use them, but now we have full access to our system fonts. And I'm trying to remember what font did I use? And I think it was like Futura or something like that. Um, and hopefully there's one. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to use this Futura Italic. And so I can just select it directly. And now we've got that font applied. Uh, but it's being read in from the system fonts. And if we were to share this project and the assets with someone else, they might not have this font. So I can click this button to bring the font into the project. So clicking that brings it into the project. Uh, and where did that go? Well, I click on the button and you can see that uh, our content... Uh, folder now has a new folder called system fonts and in that we have fonts and uh, there's where it goes. So now this is uh, fully uh, imported as an asset in our project. So that's pretty handy. And if I want to get back to where I was before, I can use this little back button and here we are back in our materials. So uh, let's uh, set this to the word motion. So double click on our text entry here and type in motion and enter and there we go um want this to be all caps so we'll enforce uppercase on that and uh let's scroll down i'll leave kerning and line spacing alone and we'll just um extrude this a bit so that we can uh, get some depth out of it i'll just put in a 10 here and we'll bevel it and i'll put in a two here and scroll down further and here we have individual materials for the different faces of this uh, text, right? So there's a front and there's a back and there is the bevel and there's the extrude the, along the side. And so um, one of the things I can do is switch from this solid color mode 
into custom material and this will let me drop a custom material here that will get assigned to all four of these automatically. So uh, let's go back up to materials and then into glossy and I'll just pick like a dark glossy something here. So I'll drag and drop this into our master material. Uh, that's a little dark. Uh, let's try this lighter one here. All right, that feels a little bit better. And for the bevel, I'd like a glow. So let's go back to our glows and we'll drop this into our bevel. And that should give us a nice highlight. Uh, maybe the bevel needs to be increased in size. It's interesting that that's not glowing the way I would have anticipated uh, because my bevel is zero. Let's put a two and hit enter. There we go. So now the bevel is glowing and uh, we're in pretty good shape there. Let me hit W on this and move that up and R to scale it up. And uh, that should be pretty good. Uh, it looks like, you know, we're at some point I probably edged the shield over to the left a little bit because I've been placing these at zero, 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 and um, these uh, new items are a little bit cheated to the left. So I'm going to select my shield null. Let's close this cloner, uh, close the static set, and shield stuff, W. And let's just inch this over to the side a little bit, and that should uh, take care of all that and select this text, bring that up a little higher. And then I think we can just duplicate this. So alt and click and drag. And so now we have a duplicate of our text, except that uh, looks like the glow setting didn't get duplicated. So we'll just drag and drop that glow back in there and scroll up. And this second word is going to be the word design, D-E-S-I-N-G. IGN. Haha. <laughs> okay. So there's our motion design. And so we're, we're coming together pretty nicely here. We're almost there. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit of highlight uh, glow around the edge here. So uh, let's go find that shield again. I think it's under content and motion design folder that I created. Here's our SVG. So I'll drag that out. Uh, we'll zero that out in terms of location, zero, zero, zero. And then R to uh, scale that up. Somehow we should be able to see that in here soon. Oh, there it is. Okay. And E will rotate that over a bit. And R, scale it up some more. And uh, let me just type in something here. There it is. Let's lock the scaling in all directions. And let's try 200. 300. Zero out our rotations and make this 90. There we go. And 400, probably too much. Nope, that's just about right, actually. Uh, w, let's bring this forward, see if that actually intersects. And let's just make it a little larger. R. Okay, so uh, now we've got that extra little bit of edge, so I'll apply, of course, a glow. So we'll go back a few, and I'll make this, I'll use this glow. So we need to select the fill shape inside the shield actor, and we'll drag a blue glow into there. And there we go. That's, uh, that's looking pretty good. We'll scale that down a bit so that... We just get a little glimpse of it there. Uh, let me hide the bedazzling cloner, which is, which cloner here? Uh, it should be in the shield. There it is, cloner two. And let's see if I can bring this forward so that it's just exposed, just like that. There we go. And let's activate the cloner again. Good, the cloner pretty well covers that up. Uh, let me, maybe W and Move this cloner up just a touch and there we go okay so we don't have any leaking of that light and uh now if i were to bring in the effector for that uh cloner which is actually here this this is the effector um 
dragging that through. We get a glimpse of uh, all of those lights in the background as we scroll, scroll this over. So we get a little extra bit of dynamics out of this. So that's pretty cool. And uh, there we go. Uh, the shield is just about ready to go. I feel like I just need to uh, take this new shape and put it into the shield stuff so it travels with that. Um, maybe cheat this over to the left a little bit more so that protrudes on both sides. And uh, there we go. I think we're ready to get to animation. So uh, one more video to go, folks. In the next one, we'll get all of the animation going. Until next time, have fun.